This multipurpose die is also known as craft die, denim die, fabric die, tie die, fabric refresher, denim refresher, and refreshing die. This multipurpose die can also be used as a substitute for any of the said die types. This die can be used for many purposes. We will discuss one by one as to how we are going to use this die. This multipurpose die is available in black, blue, green, yellow, red, orange, brown, pink, magenta and grey. This multipurpose dye can be used to color clothes and it can also be used for paper painting and craft work, hand work or any artistic work. When used as a dye for clothes, materials like denim and cotton are the most suitable materials to use this dye. If you use this multipurpose dye as a clothes dye, you can use it for any cloth that is made with denim or cotton material like cotton or denim bags, trousers, jackets, shorts, socks, pillowcases, bed sheets or any other thing that is made with denim or cotton material. Our multipurpose dye pack contains two small packets. One is a white color powder which is a chemical mix and the dark color powder is the dye powder. If you use this for any paper arts or handwork or any craft work, you can use only the dark color dye powder mix. If you use this as a clothes dye, then you have to mix the white powder along with the dye powder for clothes dyeing. The chemical powder is included here uh, to preserve the brightness of the color when you use the dye for clothes dyeing and also for durability. To when using as a clothes dye, you have to mix the white color chemical powder along with the dark color dye powder so that the color will remain in the clothes material for longer time and also the brightness of the color will be preserved in the cloth for a longer time. When you are using this multipurpose dye for paper painting or craft work or hand work, you can dilute this dark color dye powder in boiling water one liter of boiling water and use it now let's see how we are going to use this multi-purpose dye as a clothes dye first you have to pre-wash the cloth uh, either denim or cotton material you have to wash the material uh, with warm soapy water to remove any stains once the material is full clean now let's see how we are going to use this dye as a clothes dye first pre-wash the denim jean or cloth with warm soapy water to remove any stains or dirt then pour 2 liters of boiling water to an aluminium pot which is adequate to soak the material that you are going to refresh. Then you have to add 1 cup of salt and 1 packet of the clothes dye and 1 packet of the white chemical powder that we have included in our pack. You have to mix all this into the boiling water and stir well. To mix. Then you have to soak the wet cloth material in that dye mixture and stir well for the first 15 minutes. 
Slow and continuous stirring will ensure an even color with no splotches. Then let the material boil in this dye mixture for one hour. After one hour, remove the material from the dye bath and let it dry. As I said earlier, you can use boiling water but if you can do this process while the aluminium pot with the dye bath is still boiling on a stove, it would make the refreshing more effective. We recommend that you use goggles and gloves during this process to protect your eyes and your hands. There can be two occasions where you will need to refresh or dye your clothes. One is if your denim or the cotton material is faded with color either by washing or by exposing to sunlight. If the color is faded then you can use the colors that we have in the multipurpose dye to darken the color and refresh your clothes. And the other instance is if there is a light color cloth and if you think the color is not fresh enough for you to use it further then you can change the color into a darker color by using one of the colors that we have in the multipurpose dye then you can completely change the color from the light color material that you have into one of the darker colors that we have in the multipurpose dye. By doing so, you can reuse the clothes that you have for a longer period. This method will be very useful, especially for materials like bed sheets and pillowcases. If your color is faded, then you can either darken the color that you have or you can completely change the color to another color and reuse it again and again. You need not throw away any of the clothes. You can refresh the clothes and use it for a longer period. When you use this multipurpose dye as a tie dye to refresh your clothes, the same procedure as earlier is needed. You have to dilute this in two liters of boiling water or you can keep the pot on the stove and do the process while the aluminium pot with the water is still boiling and you have to add salt and the chemical powder mix that we have included. We would like to remind again of the safety precautions that we recommend while doing this dyeing process. Uh, be cautious while handling boiling water and we recommend you to use goggles because we are dealing with boiling water and also please use gloves during the dyeing process because this dye if it is contacted with your hands it won't be washed away it will be a stain so make sure to use gloves during the dyeing process also keep all these chemicals and dye powder away from children Please be cautious of these instructions while you are doing this dyeing process. Our multipurpose dye pack contains the best quality dye powder mix and also the chemical mix. Be cautious while washing the dyed material for the first time. If you use this multipurpose dye to refresh or color a clothes material you have to be cautious during the first washing of that particular clothes material because the color part of the color might be washed away so you have to wash that cloth separately also if you are using a washing machine for drying that particular cloth you have to dry that cloth separately do not mix that refreshed cloth with any other clothes. During every time that you wash, the color will fade little by little, just like any normal cloth material, even when you purchase a new cloth. 
and you can continue the refreshing process from time to time to keep the color as same as earlier durability of the color of your refreshed cloth will totally depend on the process of refreshing that you have done how well you stirred the dyeing mix or whether you did the refreshing process while the water is boiling in the pot and how you have kept it in the dye bath during the proper time so please make sure to follow the instructions carefully so that you will have a very good refreshed material